Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we did some prospects for the White Well, visited the psalmists at Wilmoth and gave them a bunch of food, and discovered the Forge of Souls. So let's explore more of the Forge. By the way, this music's really good. Let me crank it right now and just stop talking for like 10 seconds. So good. The Court of Dust. So we approach the gates. We don't have the right status to be allowed in there. Already wandered the courtyard. Done those, but now let's look for the Forge of Souls itself. Which is needed for the Clay Conductor's quest. Let's see if we can make somebody who will sing just like they want them to. You'll need to find it if you're to make a companion for the Clay Conductor. <clears throat> towers upon towers and dust upon dust. The citadel here seems entirely deserted. The clay conductor moans with frustration. Why is nothing in my life easy? Perhaps there's someone beyond the gate who can help. Ah, oh, I was worried about that. So I have to be let inside of the gate to really do anything here? I have to be either yoked or ephemera. All right, that's going to have to wait, or is it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the thing is, I know where to become yoked. That's at Wellmouth from the spiders. Become a spider sweeper, but do I really want to do that? By the time I get there, can I even do that? Because the psalmists gave me 15 days to come back and then they were going to tell me their plan on what to do about the spider people. Mm, and I have no idea about ephemera. I don't remember. You know what? What the heck? What the heck? I'll become yoked, right? Do I want to become yoked? I thought, isn't yoked like one of the worst statuses? Doesn't everybody want to attack you? Hmm. Well, I'm low on supplies, so let's head back to Sky Barnet through this unexplored spot here. Oh god, what's that? I can't see it. Something spotted me. Lagoy? Yes. God for dodging sideways. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Out of range. Thank God. Got it. Oh. So 
we have killed one of these before. One of the blue ones, even. It's not dead, only to mesh or rekindle in time. Let's celebrate our victory to reduce terror. Anything that can reduce terror is worth it. I don't need fuel. 21. Down to 11. 10% terror. That's really not much for such a hard enemy. Although, honestly, I... So far, I fought two of those, but so far, they're easier for me to take out than a guest. You know, it might just be my particular ship and its maneuverability and my play style and the sorts of weapons I have that makes this sort of enemy relatively easy. I mean, it's it's hard in that I know it can do a shit ton of damage to me if I was if I just made one poor decision and it takes a lot of hits, but. I can pretty reliably get hits on it, and pretty reliably avoid their hits. Rumors speak of vaults of souls here, fiercely guarded and ferociously sought. Penultima. That's where the blue Lagoy come from, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. is so cool looking. Looks like we've made it all the way to Sky Barnet. Got all of the rest of my supplies, so I only have 12 more supplies. <laughs> Keep in mind I started with like I don't know, I came here with, I think, about 20, and then I had, like, something like 10 or 20 stored in the bank. But damn, I've burned through them. Anyway, plenty of supplies for now, and fuel. Let's go to Wellmouth. You know what? I'm going to try to become yoked. What the hell? Oh, God. I need to be really careful with those. They're so dangerous. Homing missiles and fast firing, and oh, there's a eater of the dead. Oh, crap. Okay, there's two eaters of the dead. This is really bad. Please attack that thing. Ugh. Oh, man. Eat it. Eat it. They're eating it. They're eating it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, there's another spear fur! Wow! I just remember that I cannot heal myself because I don't have any gratitude. So even though I'm right next to Sky Barnet, that doesn't matter. Shit. Okay, this one's got to be almost dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many! Uh, scrap the engine. Up to 20 points of hole. Yes, please. 14 hole. Shit. Shit. Okay, I don't think I got hurt. Okay, yes, go after it. I think it's going after it. Shit! No, 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 no! No, no, no! Oh, bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. It's very bad. I am so 
fucking hurt. <coughs> Excuse me. Claim a trophy in the hopes of reducing terror. Success, which means I gain experience, which is actually a failure for me. I need to very carefully take out this spear for engine. That was not carefully enough. Oh shit, I took a little damage. I need to not overheat. that I survived that. Oh, I can't repair my hole from this. Otherworldly artifact. Okay. Now I could go back to the Reach because it's right there, but... No. Hmm. I'm trying to think the closest place I can get a port report from. The House of Days, I don't think so, because it's a platform, not really a place to go, really. I couldn't get one from the Forge of Souls, I guess because I couldn't enter the gate. Did I miss one at the Stoneface Court? Do I have to enter the court and then I can get one? I'm not sure. Alright, I'm going to be daring. I'm just going to keep going. And be very, very careful if I encounter an enemy. But wait a minute. I'm about to become yoked. Which I think is going to make everybody... Like, all the Logoi attack me. Can I really do that with almost no health? Ah, fuck it, let's do it. That sounds like a Sky story, doesn't it? <coughs> that sounds like a Sky story, doesn't it? Alright, well normally I would cut this out, because we've been back and forth between Wilmoth and Sky Burnet pretty often, but given that any enemy could very easily completely kill me, I find this more exciting than normal. Nope. Ah, oh, that ray of light again. Ooh. New one? Tervonen. Sounds Finnish. Stripper for repairs. Yes! 13 hole, thank god. It's a little bit. Oh, you know what? If I become yoked, they're probably not going to let me in the stone face court. Um. Well, I don't want to go across the beam of light, actually. So let's go this way. We'll go across Wellmouth and go to the Stoneface Court first. Alright, I would like a port report, please. Seek entry to the Stoneface Court. I don't see any way to get a port report. Didn't I do that in the past, though? Oh, or do I need to have my litigator intercede on my behalf first, and then can I get one? Oh, and then I actually enter it. I guess I wasn't really entering it. Then the carry is official. We follow them. Then we could get a poor report. Okay, so now I can restore my health. Oh, buy me a crew a few rounds at the tavern. With a jumble of undistinguished souls. 21 terror down to 16. <laughs> Um, I think we've already done that once before, so I'm not going to read that. Is there anything I need here? Fuel? Eh, I'll grab a couple of fuel. Has it been 15 days is my first question. It has been. The priest has been plotting how to deal with the widows. The cursing he loved, may it fall on him. 
you've stumbled upon a funeral. The congregation is half its former size, and they're in the midst of lowering a coffin into a grave. A dozen more coffins are stacked behind, awaiting their resting place. The priest's eulogy boils with rage. Curses and spittle fly in equal measure. When the ceremony is done, he meets you at the graveside. Widows attacked in the night, he growls. We fought them off, but our numbers are too few to survive another battle. I don't care where you find them, we need converts. The best psalmists can be found among the bitter and desperate. Bring them to us. Recruit new followers for the psalmists at Paranesi, Kirillin, or the Brabazon Workworld. Still haven't been to Paranesi. I think that's in Eleutheria. Because there's like one for each region, right? Kirillin's The Reach, Brabazon Workworld's Albion, Parane uh, Paranesi. Must be Eleutheria. Let's visit the Twice Corn Priest. Nothing to do right now. Okay, I hope I don't have to do any official duties being a spider sweeper. Like, I hope that's not throwing my lot in with the... Are they called the widows? The spider people. Ask to become the spider sweeper. This will enable you to change your status to yoked. All right, that takes a testament of salt. I've only gotten one my entire time here. The duty so ancient the court have forgotten to make it obsolete. Reinstating it will require a bribe. The walls of the cottage twist and buckle as the vast black thing devours your gift. It chitters and clicks for more, lurching forward, its jaws snapping inches from your nose. Grandmother had forgotten this role even existed, says the widow. To confirm your appointment, you must perform the associated duties at least once. The Spider Sweeper's role is to descend into the White Well and dislodge the failed dead that cling to its walls. The dark mass clambers from its chair and rears on its hind legs, picking with surprising delicacy through the contents of a cupboard. Finally, it emerges with a broomstick in its jaws. <laughs> To become yoked, you must sweep the well. Oh, great. Since yoke spirits are not permitted at Wellmouth, you will lose the relic's permission to speak with her widows. Okay. Yep, and since I'm rattled with spiders, that's going to increase my terror. Do not want to stay here long. Hmm. Fulfill my duties as the spider sweeper. Uses iron, 60% chance. You may sweep. The widows have been busy. You can hear the failed dead groaning below. God, they're so terrified of... being put down in whatever hell is at the bottom of that well that they're clinging to the side of it, groaning, moaning. Okay, let's do it. This will change my status to yoked, making you a lowly servant of the Blue Kingdom bureaucracy. No need for a hook in the ice, no need for a rope around your waist. Just descend into the well as quickly as you can. How do I just descend into the well without just falling? Is there a staircase? The failure. <clears throat> the White Well's edges are a plunging tangle of clumped sorrow spiders, thankfully frozen. Under your boots, they crumble. With every step of your descent, shards of spider fall into the abyss. <laughs> the failed dead cling to the well like spiders in a bathtub. They've fought long and hard to avoid death, and they keep fighting even now. As you lean forward, broom outstretched, something skitters hideously across your vision. For a moment, you lose your balance. The well beckons. <coughs> He grabs your arm and sinks his teeth so deep he strikes bone. You kick him away and both the immortal and your broomstick fall, spinning endlessly. Well, I gained some terror from everything, but I'm now one of the yoked. Great. Okay, bye. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, I do not want more terror. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is that gonna try to kill me? Uh... No? I thought like everything tried to kill me if I'm yoked. Maybe that was another status. Right. I'm gonna go this way, counterclockwise, down to Sky Barnet to use my gratitude to repair my ship, and then to the Forge of Souls. I'll bring you back when I die. Oh no. I hear Lagoy, and I think it just aggroed. Oh yes, it definitely just aggroed, because it just shot at me. Hmm. I guess I should keep trying to run, right? I wonder how aggressively they follow. Thankfully the shots go pretty slowly. I could probably take it, but I really don't want to with health as slow. A crimson logos watches these hallways and keeps the temple here. I noticed. It certainly can move fast. Yeah, it's really staying on me. Let me go to the House of Days. If I dock somewhere, I'll be fine. Is that seriously hurting me? Oh my god, I'm getting... I was getting hurt by it. By the AoE damage. Even though it unaggroed. Damn. Oh. Can we do anything different at the House of Days now that we're yoked? <coughs> so many things, or, or different courts to go to anyway. Any reason to go to any of them? Undergo the removal of your clear soul flaw? Hmm. Wait, when did I get the clear soul flaw? I remember there was somebody at Death's doorstep where I think I could, like, take their flaw. Did I do that? I don't remember. Hmm. Wait, this is unlocked when Blue Kingdom's status is anti-deceased, but that's not my status. But I am clear. Oh, here you can claim the status of Ephemera, when I've already been claimed as anti-deceased. Okay. Well, no reason to do that right now, I think. Oh, you can also do it here, too. Court of Apes, my people. The Testament of the Feather. That's the thing that requires cryptic benefactors that I ran out of, and the thing I need to get to have another shot at completing that rental dispute quest. Court of Mules. Panty chamber of the Pansacritus? Yeah, there's nothing more to do here. Let's go back and get healed. Oh, the Nameless Spirit must be paid. The Nameless Spirit leaves the jar containing his voice on your dinner table. The Spirit itself sits on the other side of the room, trying to look uninvolved. My next one's pay is due, remarks the jar, conversationally. I can stuff the jar with sovereigns, but its voice is in there, isn't that kind of rude? Let's offer up another vision of the heavens. This is what the nameless spirit has missed, walled up inside the blue kingdom. It tells you so in halting terms, with the jugged voice. I was meant to be a captain, it says significantly. I was, at one time. Is it coming back at- oh my god. Is it aggroed to me? Lagoy? 
Obviously, the Eater of the Dead is. Think so? Unless it's going after the Eater of the Dead? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, safety. Fuck off. Wait, what are you doing? The aggro, get out of here. Thank you. Not really leaving, though. <laughs> hmm. I want to see if it really leaves. It's not really leaving. I'm going to attack it. In case I get hurt a little bit more, I can heal that damage. Claim a trophy. Success, which is a failure for me. The Ligoy is actually gone. I think they have a very long aggro range. Because I've noticed the aggro thing appear for them when they're totally off screen. Alright, deliver port reports. Delivered one, one gratitude, which means I can heal myself once. Back to Max. Oh, hi. Just on my way back to the Forge of Souls. Oh no, I think I hear a Lagoy. Let's get some distance. Oh my cat's bumping the microphone. Oh no, I need to get footage of this now. I gotta get footage of this little baby bumping my microphone. What'd you say? What'd you say, girl? No, oh, okay. Okay, back to the fight. Loot the engine's plundered hall. <clears throat> Selection of immaculate souls. Mm, I think we've seen that. Yeah, we've seen that description before. I just hope that Lagoy doesn't try to attack me now. Oh, another spear for... I think it's attacking the spear for... Come on, let's get it together, Lagoy. Teamwork. I 
don't want to accidentally hit the Lagoy. Oh no, is it attacking me? Or did that just happen to home to me? I'm not sure. You know what? Forget it. I'm not too worried about that loot. I'm not going to go back for it. Oh, I don't want to increase my nightmares even more. Jettison some supplies. Alright, we're out. should be able to enter. Oh, we can wander the courtyard again, too. So we already know what to do with this tall, special person. Mimic the surrounding spirits' obeisances. Well, I should probably... Hmm. I feel like this is going to do about the same thing as looking to the nameless spirit for guidance, except this is guaranteed to be fine. This is a 78% chance. So let's do the nameless spirit's guidance. Tale of Terror and the Sky Story. Enter the gates. The other spirits here are forbidden from entering, but perhaps it will be different for you. As you approach the gates, the few spirits hovering in the courtyard begin to cluster behind you. A grate at eye level shrieks open. A skeletal face peers back at you. Eyeball, eyeball to hollow gem-studded socket. You are permitted. The unworthy scribe says, in a voice of molten lead. Not the rest. The lamentation has made herself more than clear. The great slams shut. With a long grinding moan, the left gate creaks open a fraction. It's enough to slip into the dark chamber beyond as the gate swings shut behind you. <coughs> the Lyceum is a cavernous and crumbling vault. Its stone floors are covered in battered tomes and broken tablets. Creaking shelves far above you bow under the weight of disordered scrolls. A few thin rays of light filter in from holes in the towers high above. They illuminate vast stone stairs leading deeper into the Lyceum. The unworthy scribe sits at a small desk beside the gate, whispering to himself and paying no heed to you. Let's get a port report. The sanctum of the fabled Forge of Souls, the library of the westernmost king, there are wonders here, long forgot. The Lyceum is a trove of buried knowledge, the lore of kings and regents, the notes on the creation of servants of the stars. The scribes and clerks in the service of the Lamentation of Mists do what they can to organize and catalog the vast archives, but the Lamentation's work comes first. The sky around is lit with cooling sparks from the forge itself. Its smolder chimneys protected by the storied towers of the Lyceum. Here, knowledge is created. Introduce myself. You're new to the Lyceum. A library of the stars. The Graven's eye sockets are studded with twinkling white sapphires. His fingers drum on a stone desk, propelled by nervous energy. <clears throat> he adopts the tone of a tour guide. This, he tells you, is the Lyceum. It has had many purposes over the eons, but has fallen into neglect. The Great Lamentation of Mists aims to restore this once glorious citadel to its former stature, but it will take time and work and patience. He looks about at the voiceless spirits shuffling disconsolately through the stacks. The Lamentation has had to take what help she can find. Petition for an audience with the Lamentation of Mists? 
ask whether you may visit the Clerk of Sevens. Inquire about the Forge of Souls said to dwell within the Lyceum. Let's not pop that question just yet. Let's... Mm, yeah, let's ask whether I may visit the Clerk of Sevens. Beside the vast gates is a door barely taller than you. Its bronze plaque is etched with words in several languages. One of them is English. <clears throat> the unworthy scribe opens the door for you. The skeleton's eyes wink in the light. The clerk was a Londoner once. Perhaps you'll get along. Hello. The room is lined with shelves, filled with tattered files and crumbling journals. At the center is a large, ornate wooden desk, the type you'd see in a banker's office in London. The clerk sits on top of the desk. On, on top of the desk? Not in a chair? A reading. She leans against a vast stack of dust-covered papers. She glances up from her book. Her smile is quick, mischievous. Ask what she does here. Few humans, living ones at least, hold positions of importance in the Blue Kingdom. And her title is not informative. Yeah, the Clerk of Sevens? What the hell does that mean? <clears throat> a dry laugh. I'm cataloging the number seven. She shrugs helplessly. All history, science, law, art, fiction, every and any occurrence of the number seven, I record and file it. It could be worse. I could have the sixes. Can you imagine doing it for the twelves? That sounds miserable. Do you enjoy that? Have a look at the clerk's work. You certainly won't be interrupting. The top sheet of the nearest pile is titled The Constellation of Sparrows. Here the clerk has been recording the reign of the constellation's seventh sun. To the side of that pile is a hefty file. It's marked as the fifth of 26 files on every seventh bronzewood tree growing in the reach. Her work is certainly thorough. <coughs> How can I assist? She wants you to help her out of her bibliographic hell. Listen, she says. I wasn't first through the avid horizon, but I was pretty close. And I made a bad deal. I didn't know much better then. Have you been to the forge? The venturer there was the first through. He and the captain who brought him were bound here in service. The venturer chose to stay here, but I gave up my locomotive so that the captain could escape. Now I'm bound here in the captain's place. She snorts. I didn't come to the skies for this. I want to leave. The correspondence is my way out. With the right sigils, I could fashion a loophole, or at least a temporary exemption. Okay, yeah, I'm game. So at the forge is the venturer who's the first through the avid horizon. Can't wait to meet them. <clears throat> How can I help her? What does she want you to do? I've learned as much as I can of the correspondence here at the library. The signs I need are obscure ones. I can't find them here. She hands you a sheaf of notes and a couple of charred books. I've scraped together some clues to locations the sigils might have been used. If you can collect, say, half a dozen of them, I should be able to amend the terms of my service enough to free myself. For a time, at least. There are 18 sigils scattered across the sky in ports and discoveries. You need to recover any six of them. Huh. The note says, Lustrum? And what about the Lagoy? Or... Swallowed by the past in a place where the weft of time had frayed. What does this mean? Look for lost sigils. You need six. Okay. Let's head back. There's nothing here but the clerk of sevens and a vast amount of paperwork. None are going anywhere. 